guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a makeup haul and some of the products I did purchase and some of these products were sent to me. So if you want to know what's in my haul, then keep on watching. And if you're curious, everything that I mentioned in the video will be listed down below. I'm not going to go in any particular order, so I'm going to start off with nail polish, even though I said I was going to do makeup. So I'm going to start off by talking about these LA Colors Color Craze Gel nail polishes. Now these, you do not need any kind of UV lighting and I coat this on top of my nails and it works wonders. I love this stuff. And um, what I have on my nails right now is the color Daring, which looks like this. It's super pretty and yes, I know this is part of my haul and I did use it, but I also wanted to talk about the other colors that I haven't used yet, which are Let's see, Untamed, look at that. Isn't that like such a cute hot pink? And the color Tempt, which is like a navy blue. I think this is a super cute color as well. And if you guys watched my other video, my Valentine's Day video, you guys have probably already seen that I have worn the color Damsel, and this is such a beautiful color as well. So if you guys can get your hands on these, I highly suggest you guys do. Literally, I used one coat and this is it. No double coat, so it's awesome. Next, I'm going to be talking about falsies. Now, I am not blessed with long lashes, so I am proud to be wearing falsies, okay? I wanted to talk about these right here and these are by Ono Lash and I just had a huge restock come in and I have two that are just my absolute favorite pairs to wear and the first one is called Cutie Pie and they look like this. It's just light and wispy and easy to wear for like an everyday makeup. I love it. And the next one is called Sugar Love which you guys have probably seen in a lot of my makeup videos. I love these lashes. They're just so dramatic. It's just the perfect dramatic for me. Honestly, I love these. All right, so I don't know how to pronounce this other lash brand, but I believe it's pronounced Nubosum, Nubosum. Oh, hi, Mila. Hi, sweetie. Would you like to say hi? Come here. Would you like to say hi? Look, say hi. Look, hi. I apologize in advance if I'm pronouncing the name, the company name wrong but um, I believe it's Nubinson, Nubinson. They're so beautiful and I actually have one of the pairs on right now and the one I have on is called Egyptian Mao Mink, I believe. So these are super, super pretty and they're so lightweight. I've never had mink lashes before and I absolutely love them. They're lightweight and it feels like I'm wearing nothing and it's just so luscious and like so beautiful. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's super just clean, simple, you know, I love it. And when you open it up, it has a little beauty quote. And this is in a different pair. This is Devon, Devon Rex. And I don't know, I feel like they can be super comparable to the House of Lashes Iconic, in my opinion. They're not as thick as the Iconic ones, but I mean, they're just so beautiful, so I cannot wait to try these on. And mink lashes, you can wear them like up to 25 to 30 times, I believe. So that's like a woohoo for me because I'm the type of person that reuses lashes anyway, so I can't even imagine what mink lashes will be like, like their longevity. So I'll let you guys know how that works out. Alrighty, so next I want to talk about these Raving Beauty Cosmetics and these are pigments and these are two pigments that I have not tried and I'm just going to open it up for you guys right here. And this first color is called Black Sapphire so let me just open it up because it's a pigment I just don't want it to like get everywhere but I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my gosh, I'm like uh, literally afraid this is going to dump on my face so um mm. So I'll probably just do like a zoom in picture on the side over here, but it's like a dark blue with shimmers in it and it's just so beautiful. And the next color is called Love Song. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like super, super gorgeous pink purple glitters. All right, so first of all, I wanna let you guys know I love Maybelline lipsticks. They're like my favorite favorite drugstore lipstick. And this one I picked up, I'm not sure if it's new, 
but this is called Summer Sunset. This might be part of their new summer line, I don't know, or spring line, but this is what it looks like. I love their lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what that looks like. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love like colors like these because I can wear them literally like every day. It's just so beautiful. This is like my go-to eyeliner right here. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto and I'm always wearing like the blackest black. I love this eyeliner. It's like my holy grail. I had to pick up another one, so woohoo. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about this Physician's Formula Retro Glow. All right, so first of all, I found this at the dollar store. I don't even know if it's like real Physician's Formula. Um, just because I've never seen this at Walmart or this packaging. Usually Physician's Formula is like hecka expensive looking packaging. So this is weird. But anyways, this is supposed to be a multicolored face powder to even out and brighten your skin tone. So it's supposed to be a translucent glow. So let's, I'm going to open it out and like do a little swatch because I'm always down to find like a new highlighter. Like I love highlighters. All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks really cheap actually. Um, you do pay for what you get sometimes at the dollar store. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I'm just going to swatch it real quick. Let's see. Oh, it has like a really nice glow. Okay, look. Um, the camera's not gonna pick it up, obviously. But I don't know if you guys can see it. It might just be like the bone of my hand, but um, but it's a really, really pretty like glow. It's really pretty, actually. I would just totally hit it up right here. But um, yeah, for a dollar, hey, that's when you know you got issues when you buy stuff at the dollar store that's just makeup anyways, even though it's just a dollar. But all right, so moving on, speaking of a dollar, I was actually at Walmart and I picked up this e.l.f. Um, curler, this e.l.f. eyelash curler, and I wanted to pick this up because one of my YouTube friends, Andrew, said that these are awesome for uh, Asian eyes like mine. So I picked this up and I hope that it works because I've tried the Shiseido eyelash curler and it really didn't like woo me or do anything special, so I'm hoping that this does. Also from e.l.f., I picked up this Brow Clear Mascara. I picked this up because I saw a YouTuber use this as a glitter adhesive for their eyes. So I'm like, okay, if I if I like never can find any kind of adhesive to apply glitter with, I decided to just purchase this and see if it will do the job. Also from Walmart, I picked up this Revlon nail filer because you never can have enough. So next I'm going to move on to this. LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner and I was curious about trying this because it was at the dollar store. So <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm, I, I was super curious about this. So I'm going to open it and swatch it on my hand to see how it actually is. Oh, it is a super nice like felt sharp tip. So let me just Oh, it seems to be really like legit. It's super black and it really like curves. I like it. I like it. I'm going to move on to this primer and you guys have probably seen in my tutorials that I have used the lighter primer and this is actually a black primer. So, and it just looks like that super creamy. It's, it's, it reminds me of the um, NYX jumbo pencils, except I feel like this is actually a lot creamier. So, which is a good thing. So this is LA Pro Primer HD and this is in the color black. My Pure Minerals goodies, let's see. I'm gonna first talk about this Big Look Waterproof Mascara. So I'm gonna open it up, because I haven't yet. Oh wow, this is such cute packaging. Look at this, that is so cute. Oh, it's a big like mascara. I am going to have to try this out. I don't know why I just smelt it. Next, I have my Pure Minerals Cut Crease Eye Primer. You guys know this is my holy grail. This is my favorite eye primer ever. So here I have two 
and this like does not make my eyeshadow crease at all and I like I said in my previous videos before I have never found an eye primer that makes my eyeshadow not crease and I have super oily skin which makes my eyelids even worse and I also got a disappearing ink concealer pen which looks like this super classy I love this packaging and this is in the color light you guys know I love a heavy under eye concealer and it also helps highlight my under eyes, so I love it. Next is a 4-in-1 Mineral Pressed Makeup Powder. So, and this is in the shade Golden Medium. So let me open this real quick. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see. It's just a silver packaging. And when you open it up, is this the powder right here? Oh, it's kind of loose. Okay. I think it's kind of broken but okay so this is what it looks like it's cool I could just you know super glue it down and it doesn't have um, actually sorry it came with this right here this brush that came with it so sorry I forgot to show you guys that so yeah this, this is a pretty nice color I think I think I think it'll match me what do you guys think so yes and also I got a 4-in-1 tinted moisturizer and I'm in the shade medium. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Oh, it's super cute. This is actually a really cool um, tinted moisturizer. I feel like it's almost like a foundation. So um, usually moisturizers, they're just like your skin but better kind of thing. So yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on these Pure Minerals uh, products that I have right here. Leave a comment down below. All right, so we're almost there. We're almost there. Hold on. All right. So next, I got a palette here, and this is from Alouette, and this was a bow, but um, I got excited and I just tore it open. So, um, and when you open it up, it has a little mirror, and it has these like warm tones, and it's so beautiful. So let me take this uh, clear piece. Let me take that clear piece off. So it looks like this, and it comes with a uh, it comes with a shadow brush, which looks like that. Nothing special. It's, it's usually one of those shadow brushes that come in every palette. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, the colors look like this. Look how beautiful these colors are. Let me go ahead and swatch. I want to swatch Foxy Sexy. You guys know I'm like so into these like rose gold colors. Oh, super pretty. Can you guys see that? You guys probably can, can't see. But yeah, that's that color right there. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on this palette pretty soon. But yeah, I like how this palette has a highlight shade, a dark brown shade, a vintage retro. Wow, this really reminds me of satin taupe. It really does. Buff, awesome transition color, and then you have two deep colors which I really really love this is just like this is probably gonna be my like new go-to palette it's so beautiful next also by Alouette is this picture perfect brows you guys know I am all about my brows okay um, brows are really important to me because they frame your face so here it tells you okay some steps on how to get perfect brows that's cute let me remove this again Oh, oh snap. Sorry, everything just fell. But you have some eyebrow stencils in here that came in here, which is pretty neat for anyone that needs help with shaping their brows. Um, it also came with a pair of tweezers. Of course, um, a, a, a angled brush right here with a, what are these things called again nowadays? Sponge things, I don't know. So here you have the wax, the highlighter, the blonde, and the, um, brunette. Usually for me, I like my eyebrows a little bit lighter than my hair just because I feel like it makes it look more natural um, in my opinion. So, uh, but yeah, this is super neat, isn't it? I love it. I can't wait to put these into use. And literally, lastly, because I do not want to keep you guys forever watching me here, and I got these from Full Lips. And these are the Kylie Jenner wannabe lips right here. 
So what you're supposed to do with these, I have not tried these yet, and I will. So if you guys want to see a first impression video of these, please thumbs up for me, leave a comment down below, and let me know if you guys want to. But they come in three different sizes, so you have like an oval one. You have like a, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like oval smashed. I don't know. I can't think today. Um, and then you have like a rectangular one. So they come in three different shapes. And I want to say I like the circle one the best. But like I said, I will do like a review slash first impression video if you guys want. So I'm so excited to use these. Everybody talks about it and I'm so happy that I actually got to have them. So yay! That was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul video and if you guys have any requests on anything else, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! If you guys want to see bloopers then just keep on uh, watching. I usually don't do bloopers. I feel like people will be like, girl you crazy but I guess if you guys want a good laugh then hang on tight. Bye! Um, so, uh, but I'm going to be starting off by talking about these awesome LA call. Uh, I'm going to start off by talking, I'm going to start off by talking about these LA color craze. I always want to say glaze because of the lip paints, but you have, they, uh, falsies. These, babe, hi. Hey, get ready for the gym. I know, it's not time yet. Let me change and get my shake ready and... Can you give me 15 minutes? Alrighty. Uh, uh, uh. Transistent. Translucent.